Today we're looking at an example of an OEE or Overall Equipment Effectiveness Dashboard uh, from the Gainseeker Suite. Uh, what you see here at the top is uh, today's OEE and the last 30 days OEE represented by a number down below and then availability, performance, and quality all displayed and you can see we're doing both today's values and the last 30 days displayed on this. This can be configured any way that is useful to you. And um, most people find that just getting this information out in a visible format like this, uh, perhaps in a, a large flat panel display on a factory floor or projected on a screen on the factory, uh, can really help focus attention on OEE. What I'd like to show is how you can drill into data and make more sense of it and uh, point your way to getting better value from your data. So we right click on uh, this last 30 days OEE number and click chart and then select the control chart. And what we find is uh, it opens up the control chart in uh, Gainseeker SPC charts and reports. What you see here is a very stable process uh, with values ranging from the high 90s down to low, quite low numbers, 10, 20 percent even. If we click on one of these numbers, one of these points, we can see the raw data. Here are values ranging um, in the low 20s up to 45. There's a value of 82 and so forth. Uh, you can see that we're looking at different shifts of data for different machines, uh, so we're collecting data on each shift for each machine. What Gainseeker allows us to do is to right-click on this chart and go to Group Data and select to look at it by, say, machine number and find out which machine has the highest and which has the lowest OEE. So we can go to Control Limit Legend and see our actual average values for OEE. So they range from a 63 or 5 here for a couple of the machines down to the, the 5 stand 4110 uh, machine at a, about 35% OEE. So we can zoom in on that machine and see the performance of it over this last 30-day period on a shift-by-shift -shift basis. And we can drill into that and look at our data again. Let's look at it by shift and determine if that is a contributor to variation. And what you see is that really the three shifts are pretty similar. So let's drill again into it and look at it by operator and see if the operator, operators make a difference. And you can see we have quite different control limits here and different average values for each of these operators. And by right-clicking and looking at the legend, we can actually see the average values for each of these operators. So back at our dashboard, we could drill into availability, performance, or quality in a similar way. Uh, perhaps we'd want to look at our performance measures for uh, each machine across each shift, across op different operators, and uh, see how that's impacting uh, our total OEE. It's a way you can drill down into detailed information and use that to help drive improvements in throughput, productivity, and profitability. For more information, please visit our website at www.hertzler.com.